Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more NHL 21 Ottawa franchise with my 100% accurate rosters. Of course 100% accurate as the day that I started. Um, we are now one month into the season so a few things have changed and that's okay. Uh, it is a franchise after all. So um, October has been a little bit up and down for us. Uh, we did okay, too, especially if you consider our uh, experts predict us uh, in the season to really suck this year. Because, yes, uh, today is December 21st. And as of yesterday, it has been confirmed that we will get a NHL season in 2021. And it will be a 54 uh, game season and the Ottawa Senators are going to be in an all-Canadian division and all experts expect us to basically not win a single game or thereabouts. So with that in perspective, we're doing pretty good. We are fifth in the Atlantic here and we are holding on to a wild card spot. Of course, it is way too early here in the season to be claiming any kind of victory or anything, but so far so good. We are holding our own. So as far as the best players here, I don't remember, I don't think I've looked at that at the end of the previous video. So Chris Tierney is our best, he has 13 points in 10 games, and then if we look in the league, the best player in the entire league is Patrick Kane with 17 points in 13 games. So Patrick Kane's here, tops of the league after one month. Now also what I do after every month is I like to go and check um, the progress reports. Now the way that it works usually is that you, we don't really see any changes until December or so. So I went and checked prior to the video. Nobody got any kind of progress up or down after the first month. So we're not going to look into that. And then what I also like to do is to come in here and take a look at the trades. And there's been a trade. And it happened only a few days ago, actually. So there was a trade between the Wild and the Islanders. So the Wild acquired Josh Bailey and a seventh round draft pick for Jared Spurgeon and a third and a fourth. So that's a pretty interesting trade. Uh, Josh Bailey is a pretty decent forward. Um, I remember when he joined the league, he was supposed to be like really good and it kind of take, took him a little bit to really establish himself, I would say. Uh, and then Jared Spurgeon has always been kind of that silent, fo silent force on the back end for the wild. He's like a, a little bit of a smaller player and everything, but he plays a pretty good type of D there. So all in all, I think it's a pretty interesting trade. So. We'll have to see what happens out of that. Oh, and there's been some signing as well. So we're just going to take a look at that real quick. All right, so Dylan Strom signed with Chicago. That's fine. Perlini with Philadelphia. Ron Ince signed with Nashville. So Nashville signed two defensemen. They also got Dustin Bufflin. Uh, Casey Middlestad signed with Buffalo, that's fine. Charles, Charles Udon signed with Montreal, that's fine. Uh, Alex Overhart signed with Carolina. Ben Hutton is going to be playing in Columbus. And Brian Boyle signed with the Panthers. So we are good to go. Uh, so I randomly roll which score I'm going to do gameplay on and we might not get gameplay today uh, because I will be taking it on in the third period if the Sens are up 6-4 after two so I know it's a pretty high score that's one of the highest scores that uh, I have prepped for that part of my playthrough so today uh, we might uh, see some gameplay but uh, we also might not Right, so I am not going to change lineups or anything like that. I think we're doing okay, so we're just going to go with what we have right now. And we are getting underway, finally, after all that talking. So first is going to be the Buffalo Sabres are going to be in town here in Ottawa. So we have a home and home against the Buffalo Sabres. <coughs> So 
let's see. So Buffalo is 7-3 and 2, so they're doing pretty good. Oh. Alright, so we are down 3 to 1 after 1. That's not good. So Resmus Ristalin and scored for Buffalo. Taylor All scored. Cody Eakin scored. And then uh, Eric Gutbranson scored for us on Carter Otten. We have Matt Murray in net. Alright, so let's see here after 2 what's going to happen. Oh, we're tied at 3. So we came back in that one. So Philip Schlepik scored on Carter Otten and then Nikita Zaitsev. So Zaitsev's having himself an offensive season so far. I mean, by his own standards. Alright, so let's see. And we lost it in the third. So Tage Thompson and Sam Reinhardt both scored for Buffalo. And we are... down 5-3 at the end of the game. Alright, let's look at the goals. So, got Branson scored from Formenton and Schlappick, and then Schlappick from Brady Kitschuk and Dadonov. And then, oh, 34 seconds later, Nikita Zaitsev from Connor Brown and Chris Tierney. Alright. So we did lose 5-3 the first of the omen ohm and now we've dropped out of a wild card position. So we're gonna go ahead and sim to the next game, which is going to be in Buffalo as well. Uh, in Buffalo this time. Alright, so Buffalo still eight. Still with a good record, 8-3-2. and two. Okay, So let's see here. Alright, so we're down 2-1 to one after 1 here. So Dadanov scored first. This time it's on Linus Olmark. And then Tage Thompson and Jeff Skinner scored for Buffalo. So we are down 2-1. to one. Ooh, we allowed two more goals in the second period, so now we're down 4 1. Victor Olafsson and Eric Stahl scored for Buffalo, and then uh, we're up in shots, though, so we're, we're playing a decent style. We're, we're just not able to play very well defensively. Decent style offensively, I guess. Alright, and we allowed another goal. Taylor All scored. We lost 5 1. Alright, so now we have a losing record which is not all that good. All right, let's take a look at who got the assists. Okay, so Dadanov scored 11 seconds into the game from Brady Ketchuk. It looked pretty promising for us. We are up 1-0 after 11 seconds. Uh, that's all we would score, so... All right. All right. Uh... So now uh, we're playing two games in two nights. We're going to host the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's not going to be an easy game. All right, so Tampa Bay is in town now. They are 9 and 4. So, yeah, let's see what we can do here. All right, we're down 2-1 to one after 1, so Tampa Bay here taking the lead in the first. Chris Tierney scored for us, and then Matthew Joseph scored for Tampa Bay, and then Yanni Gord. So it is 2-1 to one Tampa Bay after 1, 2-1 to one Tampa Bay after 2. All right, so close game. We have a shot to come back in the third and win this. Go, Sens, go! Oh, we did! <laughs> so we came back in the third, scored twice, and we won 3-2. So Thomas Shabbat scored on the power play, and then Connor Brown also scored on the power play. And that is a 3-2 win against Tampa Bay, so pretty good game here against the uh, defending Stanley Cup champions. So <clears throat> let's see who got assists here. So Chris Tierney from Galchenyuk. Then Thomas Shabbat from Dadanov and Connor Brown from Galchenyuk and Dadanov. Alright, so two assists for Ga Galchenyuk, two assists for Dadanov. Alright, 
Alright, and it is a 3 2 win. Not bad for a second game in two nights. Alright, and the next game is going to be at home again, and we are going to be hosting the New Jersey Devils. Alright. <clears throat> so the Devils are in town, they are 6 5 and 1, we are 6 6 and 2, so very similar records here. Phew, excuse me. I had to cough profusely. Um, Alright, so let's get... Oh yeah, that's right. I like to check to see if there's injuries. That's what I've been forgetting. Alright, so let's take a look at the Devils and see if they have any injuries here. Nope, the Devils are healthy. Go ahead and simulate this game. And we're up 1 0 after 1. Thomas Shabbat scored on Mackenzie Blackwood. Right, and then we're going to go ahead and sim another period. And we're up 2 0. Dadanov scored on Blackwood in the second period. Up 2 0 going into the third. Oh! The Devils came back in that one, but we prevailed and we won 3-2. So Kulikov scored a short-handed goal for New Jersey. Then Nico Ischer scored. He tied the game, but then Drake Batterson played the hero with nine minutes left to go in the third period. And we got a 3-2 victory. Yeah, so Thomas Shabbat from Dadanov and Brady Kachuk. It was Thomas Shabbat's fifth goal of the season. Then Dadanov from uh, Colin White and Nikita Zaitsev. And then Drake Batterson from Artem and Nisimov and Rudolf Balsers. All right. And we are going to sim to the next game. So next on the menu is going to be the Vegas Golden Knights. That's not going to be an easy game. They are pretty good. All right, so Vegas is in town. They are 10-4-1. So pretty good start to the season for Vegas. Now let's see if maybe they have a couple injuries that would help us be over there. Oh, Connor Brown is hurt. I wish they would notify me of that kind of stuff. Alright, so he's not able to play. I'm gonna go ahead and wait and see how long he's gonna be hurt for before I recall somebody or anything like that. I should have extras that can jump in for now. And Vegas is completely healthy. Alright, so Connor Brown out for us and Vegas is healthy. Alright. Oh, and the Sens are up 2-1 to one after 1 here, so Cullen White has scored first on Robin Leonard, and Max Pexy already tied the game, and then Thomas Shabbat scores, so Shabbat is uh, scoring in a lot of games this month, I like it. Alright, so up 2-1 to one after 1, oh, tied at 2 after 2, so Ryan Reeves scored, oh, look at that, he was right in the in Matt Murray's face right there. Alright, and then Simming the third. And we won against Vegas. Good game. And Vegas took the lead too. They were up 3 to 2. Uh, Nicolas was scored, but then Christiani tied the game and then he scored the game winner with 8 seconds left to go in the third period. Wow. That ought to have hurt. For Vegas, not for us. It, it felt pretty awesome for us, I'm sure. Alright, so let's take a look at who all got assists and whatnot. So Colin White from Kachuk and Dadonov. Brady Kachuk is getting assists, but he's not scoring a lot of goals. Then Thomas Shabbat from Schlepik and Zaitsev. Then Chris Tierney from Zaitsev and Schlepik and Tierney from Galchenyuk. With 8 seconds left to go in the game, the game winner. That was pretty cool. 
and it was at home too so it probably felt good oh now rudolf balser is our okay um let's sim all the way to the tempo big game before we take a look at uh, what we're gonna do here with the lineup see in case it's just day to the injuries or whatnot so let's go ahead and do that All right, so now we're going to be in Tampa Bay. Uh, first, we're going to need to take a look here. What do we have? A separated shoulder. Yeah, he's out for a little bit and then... Okay, all right. I'm going to need to recall somebody. Oops. What does it look like right now? Yeah, let's recall somebody. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and I will be right back once I did that. Uh, because I like to look at a couple different things and that might not be super fun to watch so I'm gonna pause and be right back all right and I am back so uh, to make up for Balsers and Connor Brown Earth I recalled Matthew Pekka and Vitaly Abramov uh, Belleville is not doing all that great this season um, so I didn't have anybody that was like piling up points or anything like that so I recalled two different type of players where Abramov is more of an offensive type of player and Matsupeka a little bit more of a defensive type of forward so that gives my coach some options all right so we are going to now be uh, in Florida here at the start of November so must feel great for sense players uh, we're gonna be playing in Tampa Bay first they are now 10 and 6 let's see if we can beat them again we beat them at home let's see if we can beat them on the road we do have a few injuries though and I forgot to uh, let's go ahead and check because I forgot to check if Tampa Bay has injuries yeah Matthew Joseph is not gonna play that game he has a broken nose all right let's go Another win here would feel pretty good. Oh, we're up one nothing after one. Who scored? Chris Tierney again. Wow, Chris Tierney is uh, is a machine this season. All right, and then let's in the second period. We're up three nothing against Tampa Bay. Wow, Chris Tierney again on the power play, and then Dadanov on the power play as well. All right, so we're up three nothing after two, and we won four to one. Wow. So Sergachev scored on the power play for Tampa Bay and then Brady Kachuk finally scored a goal. Uh, I checked before on pausing, he had the zero goals and seven assists so far. So now he finally has a goal. And we are up 4-1 at the end of the game. Another victory against Tampa Bay. We're doing pretty good. I mean, taking things into perspective, I think we are. Uh, all right, so in the first, Chris Tierney scored from Galchenyuk and Thomas Shabbat. Then Tierney scored his 10th in the second period from Anisimov. And then Dadanov from Galchenyuk and Brady Kachuk. And then finally in the third period, Brady Kachuk from Colin White and Thomas Shabbat. And that was a 4-1 victory here in Tampa Bay. Woohoo! All right, we don't have a whole lot of time to celebrate uh, that win. We are going to play tomorrow in Florida against the Panthers. Now it's a little tougher for uh, the Panthers here. They are four and nine this season, so struggling a little bit in uh, Florida. They probably wish that they had the lineup that they have in might be a pro series because they somehow have Alex Ovechkin there. Probably could use him right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look. Maybe they have a bunch of injuries that could explain why. Alright, oops. 
Oh, yeah, they do have a couple injuries. So Aaron Eggblad has post-concussion syndrome, so out until the middle of January. That's not good for them. And then uh, Scott Wilson, injured ribs. Coming back soon, though. So, yeah, Eggblad is pretty much one of their best defensemen, if not their best defensemen. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can beat them. Let's beat the Panthers. Everybody does, apparently. And we're up 2-1 to one after 1. So Josh Norris scored. Cool. Then uh, Jonathan Huberto tied the game. And then Yevgeny Dadanov scored. So we are up 2-1 to one after 1. Ooh! <laughs> Almost uh, got to play here. Uh, we're up 6-2 to two after 2. So if Florida would have scored two more goals, I would have played the third period here. So 6-2. to two. So Thomas Shabbat scored, then Chris Tierney scored again. Wow, he's on a mission. Uh, Mike Riley scored. So at that point it was 5-1. to one. Then Anton Strollman scored on the power play, made it 5-2. to two. And Then Mike Riley scored his second goal of the game to make it 6-2 to cents after two. Ooh. We won 9-3, to three. wow. Josh Norris scored again, then Chris Tierney scored again, and then Drake Batterson made it 9-2, and then, you know, uh, Borgstrom scored for Florida, it was 9-3. That game was over already. Wow, the Sens with 9 goals, who would have thought that, that this would happen? So there's going to be a lot of goals to look at here. Alright, so Josh Norris scored his first from Schlepik and Zaitsev, and then Dadanov from Kachuk, then Shabbat from White and Dadanov, Tierney from Galchenyuk and Batterson, Mike Riley from Anisimov, and Artem Zub. Uh, Mike Riley again from Artem Zub again. Then in the third period, we have Josh Norris from Schlepik and Abramov. Oh, Abramov got a point after being uh, called up here. Then Tierney from Galchenyuk and Godbradson, and Batherson from Schlepik. And that was the win. Very convincing win. Gotta love this. Alright. And now we have a little bit of a break here uh, before we go back home to play against the Wings in four days. So a little four day break. Uh, we are going to get to. Uh, fix our injuries and whatnot. Dallas is place, placing Julius Anka on waivers. Oh, maybe I'm going to... Julius Anka, I might claim him actually. Probably wouldn't hurt to get him. You know what? I'm claiming Julius Anka. There you go. First roster first true roster move I've made. Alright, so, okay, Balsers is back. Uh, what does it look like here? Alright, so still only Connor Brown hurt. We're not gonna see him, uh, in this video again, he's hurt until the start of December. Then Detroit is healthy. Now somebody got sent down on my behalf. I'm not sure. Ooh. Oh, it was Abramov that got sent down. All right. You know what? I'm I'm fine with that. If he. If the coach wants to do it that way, I am not gonna force things too much. Alright. I did set it for the coach to control most things. I really want to play more as a GM than anything, so I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, now the one thing I wanted to check was I wanted to look at Julius Hunka.
areas. All right, so I got 81. Overall, maybe. Top potential for top 4D, so 24 year, years old, Julius Anka. So we're gonna have him in the minors for now, and we might recall him. So that's the type of player that I'm looking for here that fits kind of what the Sens are doing. So that's still a, a younger player with a little bit of upside here. So that's the type of deals that I'm looking for. Perfect. So we got Julius Anka now in the organization. All right, so let's go ahead and play against the... the wow, Chris Tierney is more than a point per game. Let's go ahead and play against the Red Wings. So Detroit is 7-9-2 so far this season, so not that great for, for them. We're all a bit on a roll here. We've been winning games lately. Back at home, and oh, yeah, it's going to be a little homestead here. So let's go ahead and sim the first period here against Detroit. Oh, no score after one. Nobody could score. And then I'm going to sim the second period. And we're up 2-1. to one. So Artem and Nisimov scored first on Thomas Grice. And then Josh Norris scored again. So Norris is a little bit on a tier right now. I like it. And then Zadina scored for Detroit. Made it 2-1 to one Sens after two. And we won 4-1 while the Sens are on a roll. So Brady Ketchuk scored and then Mike Riley scored again. So Wright is having a decent month so far. Let's take a look. Alright, so in the second period, uh, Artem and Nismov scored from Zaitsev and Schlepik. And then Norris scored from Tierney and Brandstrom. So that was those goals, and Brady Ketchup from Thomas Shabbat and Dadonov, and then Mike Reddy from Chris Tierney. And we are playing Pittsburgh here in a couple days. Alright, so Pittsburgh is 7, 8, and 2, so they're not doing all that great so far this season. Now, do they have any injuries to report here? Uh, Teddy Bluger, but that's it. Wrist Brain coming back in uh, 1 to 2 weeks, I guess. Alright, so Pittsburgh is in town. Are we going to be able to contain Pittsburgh as well? Let's find out. Alright, let's go ahead and sim the first period. Tied at 1 after 1, so uh, Zucker scored uh, first and then Artem Zub tied the game. So we are tied at 1 after 1. Oh, we're losing 2-1 to one after 2 here. Uh, Jankowski scored for Pittsburgh, so 2-1 to one Pittsburgh after 2. And we lost 4-1. Uh, we cannot win them all, they say. So uh, Chris Letang and Zucker with his second goal of the game. So a 4-1 loss here. So let's see who assisted on the Artem Zub goal. It was Philip Schlepik and Alex Formanton. Right, and we are going to host the Florida Panthers here in a couple days. All right, not much to report here. So Florida is still not doing good. They are five and twelve right now. Not sure what's going on here in Florida. All right, so Connor Brown for us. Still ironic blood art for Florida. Gonna go ahead and simulate the game. So 
So Florida is in town. Oh, they took a 1-0 lead here in the first period. It was Nutivara scoring on Matt Murray. So 1-0 Florida after 1. Let's in the second period. Still 1-0 Florida after 2. Wow. Let's in the third. And we came back with 3 goals in the third period. And we won 3-1. So Dadonov scored. And then Brady Kitschuk and then Alex Galchenyuk. There you go. Another victory for the Suns. 3-1. Alright, so Danonov uh, scored 37 seconds into the third period. It was his 10th of the season from Brady Kitschuk and then Brady Kitschuk from Dadanov and Colin White and then Galchenyuk from Batherson and Thomas Shabbat. It, it's a 3-1 victory. Alright, and now we're hitting the road here near the end of the month. We're going to be playing in Minnesota against the Wild, so I guess we're going to get to see uh, Josh Bailey with the Wild and see if he's going to be tough on us or something. Oh, they have two injuries, so and it's two defensemen. So Greg Patron has a pull growing. He's coming back in about four days. Matt Dumba has a broken leg, and he's out until January. Wow. All right, so the death, of, they probably could use Jared Spurgeon right now. <laughs> probably uh, regret trading him a little bit. Alright, so playing in Minnesota here, so we're gonna need to take out our strong road game pants and go ahead and uh, score early. Uh, tied at one after one, not too bad. Artem and Nisimov scored short-handed to open the scoring, and then uh, Brad Hunt scored on the power play for the wild. So tied at one after one, tied at two after two. So Philip Stepik scored on the power play for us, and then Zach Parisi scored for the Wild, and then we're going to sim the third period. Oh, we lost 5-4. Alright, so the Wild uh, getting away with the victory here. So Matt Zuccarello scored, and then Dadonov scored for us, and then Zuccarello scored again, and then Anisimov scored on the power play for us. And then Marcus Johansson with the game winner when it was tied at four. Alright, so let's see here. So Artem and Nisimov scored from Thomas Shabbat in the first period, then Schlepik from Tierney and Nisimov in the second. Dadanov from Mike Riley, and finally Artem and Nisimov from Zaitsev and Chris Tierney. Alright. Alright, so uh, another loss here. We still have a decent record, so we're still in a wild card spot here, and there's a lot of teams that are at 26 points in our division, it looks like. Let's see uh, when it comes back here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Montreal has slid a little bit. Alright. So let's sim. The next game is in Dallas against the Stars. Alright, so do the Stars have any injury? Nope, they are fully healthy. Alright, so the stars are 12 and 10, so not that far off of our record here. So, um, let's send that. Oh. 
Oh, the Suns are up 3 to 1 after 1. So we have Dadonov scoring on the power play, then Philip Schlapik scoring, and then Dadonov with the second goal of the game. And then Jimmy Ben scored on the power play, and now it's 3 to 1 Suns after 1. Oh, the Suns are up 5 2 after 2. Chris Tierney scored, and then Blake Como scored for Dallas. It was 4 2 at that point, and then Rudolf Balser scored, made it 5 2 after 2. And then we scored another goal in the third period. Philip Schlappick scored on the power play, made it 6 2 Suns, and that's the end of the game. Right, another pretty good game for the Suns. I'm I'm very wary to get excited here. I feel like the rest of the schedule is going to be tough or something. Alright, so Dadonov scored uh, in the first period from uh, Brady Ketchuk and Colin White, then Schlappick from Brandstrom and Chris Tierney. Dadonov from Colin White and Brady Ketchuk. Then Chris Tierney from Drake Batterson and Eric Brandstrom. Rudolf Balsers from Shabbat and Anisimov, and finally Philip Schlappick from Chris Tierney. Six goals. We're scoring goals. We don't have problems scoring goals. That's for sure. Alright, so now we have a couple days off before we play in New York against the Rangers. Oh, I am offered... You're offering me a fifth round draft pick for Roby Yarventi and my... No, no, no. Now, I don't know how Roby Yarventi is going to develop in the game, but I know that he's doing pretty good in real life, and us Sens fans are getting kind of excited about him, so no way. Oh. My amateur scout call. I've reviewed this year's draft class briefly. In general, I feel it will be a good year for rookies. Thank you for letting me know. I have the scouting set on auto, so we're good here. Alright, so playing the Rangers now. Let's see here what they look like in terms of injuries and overall health. Oh, Jack Johnson is hurt, and Chris Kreider is hurt, so an MCL sprain for Jack Johnson out until the start of December, and fractured ankle for Chris Kreider out un until uh, about the midway point of December. Alright. Let's simulate that. The Rangers are 11, 9, and 4, so they're not too bad. And we're tied at one after one. Colin White scored on Chesterkin uh, to open up the scoring, but then Jacob Truba tied game. So we are tied at one after one. Oh, we're losing two to one after two. Yiddle scored for the Rangers. It is two to one Rangers after two. Oh, we tied the game in the third period. Colin White scored on the power play. Uh, with less than two minutes left to go into the third period, so we are going into overtime. And we won! Josh Norris plays the hero in overtime with the game winner. 3 to 2 Suns, another victory, wow! <laughs> I was uh, expecting for us to struggle, uh, at least for the first year or two maybe. So far so good, but again, I don't want to get too excited about it. So Colin White scored from Dadonov and Brady Kachuk, and then in the third period, Colin White from Dadonov and Galchenyuk. And then in overtime, it was Josh Norris from Mike Riley. Awesome. Another victory for the Suns. Alright, so we're playing tomorrow in Philly against the Flyers. Oh, Flyers are struggling a little bit. 10, 11, and 2. So, oh, they are dead last in their division with that record. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at who's hurt in Philly, if anybody. Uh, Provorov is hurt. That's pretty much their best defenseman. Uh, he has a concussion and he's coming back in a couple weeks. Alright, so Provorov is not gonna be there. Alright, let's see here. 
Oh, and then there's one last game after that, and then we're gonna be done with the month of November. I would like to simulate, please. Oh, no score after one in Philadelphia, so we are going into the second period with no score. Tied at one after two. Uh, Brandstrom scored for us, and then Jacob Voracek scored for the Flyers. So we are tied at one after two. And we ran away with the win yet again in the third period with a couple goals. Chris Tierney scored on the power play, that was a game winner. And then Artem Zub added some with 47 seconds left to go in the third period. Might have been an empty netter. Right, three to one victory. Let's take a look at. Right, so Brandstrom from Austin Watson and Rudolf Balsers, and then Chris Tierney from Zaitsev and Brandstrom, and Artem Zub from Philip Steipik. So Brandstrom had a goal and an assist, so pretty good game for him. All right, pretty good month of November. I'm pretty impressed with our record so far, but again. Let's temper our expectations, please. Alright, so we have one more game here against the Rangers. We just played them. Uh, they still have a pretty decent record overall. Let's see if they have more injuries now than they did earlier. No, still Jack Johnson and Chris Kreider. Last game of the month last chance at some gameplay like I said I I would have been surprised if there would have been a lot of gameplay uh, opportunities here maybe next video it's random I I like to do things like that sometimes all right so yes all right we're up two to one after one so Lafreniere scored uh, but then Dadonov scored on the power play, and then he scored another one. So Dadonov uh, has been scoring a few goals this month as well. I like that. Right, up 3-1 to one after 2. Dadonov completed his hat-trick. Wow, hat-trick for Dadonov. Pretty good. Now going into the third period. And we won 5-2. to two. So Capo Caco made it 3-2. to two. Uh, then Colin White scored, and then Dadonov scored his fourth goal of the game. Wow, four goals for Dadonov, that's pretty good. Alright, so Dadonov from... Oh, Connor Brown is back. He's back already. So Dadonov from Connor Brown and Colin White. Then Dadonov scored his 15th from Thomas Shabbat and Mike Riley. Then Dadonov again from Shabbat and White. Then White from Dadonov and Brady Kachuk. And Dadonov with, uh, from Kachuk and Mike Riley. So Dadonov had four goals and an assist in that game. So pretty good game. All right, so let's do that. Right, and now I am going to just advance. Oops, sorry. I'm going to just uh, advance day until we are on the first of December. There we go. And we are going to be all ready here. So I'm going to go ahead and save real quick to just to make sure. Right and um, well, that's pretty much. Oh, look! Look at that. We're gonna have a home and home against Montreal there. So we are doing pretty good. We are 16, 8, and 2. I did not see that coming. Um, definitely gonna need to uh, continue playing like that. Uh, we're doing really, really good overall. Yeah, he's gonna play. He has a playable injury. So at the start of the next video, we're going to look at uh, 
stats and whatnot and who's been traded who's been signed and, uh, and everything but for today that's gonna be it so i do want to thank you for tuning in and if you've liked the video please feel free to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and until i roll this game again i'll see you guys next time thank you